guys, so today we're on the Rattler track. This is our 40 acre first den that we worked. I watched uh, some clips from the track cutter here yesterday. The name of this track is the Rat Rattler, like rattlesnake. Rattle, Rattle 40, there you go. Uh, decent morning so far, a lot better start to where we had yesterday, which being a little more established from having some wood going, flowing, because uh, we had uh, the delimitator fixed from yesterday. This morning's going a little bit better. We finished up a pocket way in the back. Y'all can see a road change back there. We got that taken care of. We are uh, currently loading load number three for the day. See Mickey over there with the delimitator. Matthew loading. Again, this is why I love having this uh, loader set up like this. Y'all see that wood in the middle that Matt's working with there. Matt's been on the Tiger Cat skitter this morning helping Michael keep his set cleaned out because Michael's on a pretty good long drag into that pocket y'all saw back there. So as Mickey can keep just delimiting and piling in that middle there and he don't got to, you know, shut down. We don't got to shut Michael down. We can hop Matthew from here to here and keep kind of a, a, a steady flow going. The wood's falling off really bad. Um, see if I can get y'all on the side and show y'all just how bad it is. Most of it's not reaching the third bunk anymore. Should be able to see that up there on Iceman's truck. Most of it is not reaching the third bunk anymore. We're having to go pretty high in the back I'm not sure what the technical term is for it, what y'all, what everybody else likes to call it. We call loading like this, just we call it butts out the back, simply because we put the butt to the trees out the back, and then as y'all seen this, we'll take a cross piece and cross it uh, just behind that second bolster right there, and then uh, we'll overlay our top layer on it. This way we ensure we're gonna get our 30 to 32 tons on the load. It pulls it easier for the truck drivers. It's not so stacked up so high, so it's not so top heavy. And uh, it's easier for the cranes to unload, usually. Uh, at least that's what I've been explained anyway, but anyway. I think Matt's fixing to put a cross piece on him. So we're also down there. You saw us sticking fuel hoses and everything. Can't see it from here, but the work truck and everything down there. We are uh, putting diesel in the work truck, I mean, in the, in not in the work truck, taking diesel from the work truck and putting in the track cutter. Uh, we're approximately halfway done with this track. I would like to think we could be done here Friday-ish, Saturday for sure, depending on uh, the weather conditions. And to throw a monkey in the wrench, wrenches there we go throw a monkey in our stacker wrenches <laughs> um they're calling for like two inches of snow sunday now today's tuesday yay yes
supposed to need some fill filters for our denominator. So we ended up doing eight. Looks like we're gonna have about a loadout we get done. So we trucked eight, we started with none. We're gonna have a loadout, so that means we processed about nine loads today. That's pretty good in this stuff. For our little four-man application here. Matt right now, as I showed y'all earlier, he's uh, got his loader parked up. And he is on the Tiger Cat Skitter down yonder, toting trash and whatnot. There's old Turbo right there. What are we gonna start calling Michael? We're gonna start calling him Turbo. There's old Turbo right there. Let me step y'all over here to this side, try and show y'all some of this. Y'all can see. That is some raunchy stuff. This this wood here has fell off to every bit as bad as what that stuff was we was cutting north last year up north. So, uh, it's something to do, I reckon, but God, it sucks. But I would rather work here, work this trashy stuff here, 30 minutes from home, than I would work an hour from home and work the same trashy crap, so... That looks like an all thinning drag that Michael's got right there. There's no down row wood in that. That's going to be a. See, as I cut going in, I, I down row the, the left side. I down row the row and cut the left side. And uh, whenever I get to the back, all I do is thin the right side coming back out to the access. So for, a, for half a side there, I guess you say, or half a row. There's a, just a straight down road, about, probably about three drags. It's gonna be just straight thinning. I mean, Mickey gonna take his wood and shake it, shake them bushes out like that. You pull it through the deliminator before you start digging those tra the, the trash out of it. And, uh, it like chops them in half, and makes them easy to pull out. One bad thing of doing that is this stuff is so daggone brittle that you uh, it breaks on you. As y'all saw a couple pieces of that do. Well, it's just part of the game, though, guys. I mean, it's I mean, it, like I said, it sucks. But I'd rather be at home doing this than I would be off in another foreign district doing this at least we're we're still our 30 30 minutes or so from the house 30 40 minutes and watch i'm gonna watch how hard it is for that stuff to show well, he's fixing to do he's fixing to shake shake it out well that wasn't really bad just a lot of handling double handling of your wood doing it this, you know fooling with this mess that's a 
That's a buttload of little trees. He's trying to keep it clean as possible, and I get what he's trying to do. But, uh, if it was me, uh, that pile of wood right there would not be that clean. That's what I have a poles all for. <laughs> That's how Dad's job makes the production that they make on their job in this small stuff. Is it where we're doing eight loads a day in this? Dad's job would be doing 16 loads a day in it, and that's how they make their production in it. Is they will, uh, they they have a, a, a man that does nothing but trim the trucks after they're loaded, trimming the bushes and stuff out. They pick it up, they dig a couple of the bigger hardwood bushes up, and then it goes through the box to the middle pile through that topping saw over there to that pile or in a truck on a truck and whatever makes it to the truck makes it to the truck anyway guys thank you so much for watching today Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment, all that good stuff. Go find a t-shirt for sale down there in the description below. There's a link for t-shirts. And until the next video, we'll catch y'all next time.